welcome to this information session on dataset certification. Please note that this is not a preparation session for the certification exam. Here we are only going to talk about some key aspects of the exam and some things that you need to know before you take this examination. So if you are a data stage developer or an administrator and you are interested in taking this examination to get certified, then the first thing that you should do is go to the IBM website which has the complete details for this examination and certification. So this is the link for the certification. I will be sharing the links below in the description box so you can go to those links later and get the full details. So, Whatever information is provided on this link that would help you to understand that what are the prerequisites, what is the structure of the exam, how you can prepare for the exam, what is the curriculum for the exam and so on. So this has complete information, all these links from the IBM website. What we are going to do in this session is briefly discuss about these, uh, some of the important points here and I will just give you a brief summary of what is important and what is needed before you appear for this exam examination. So this is what the certification is called. It is called the IBM Certified Solution Developer and Firstware Data Stage version 11.3. So this is a title that would be awarded to you if you successfully take this exam and pass in this examination. So the first step is to check for the prerequisites. So what are the necessary conditions before you can appear for this certification exam? So there are some recommendations. So there are recommended prerequisite skills. Nobody is going to come and check them. What they expect of you is basically that you have some knowledge of data stage and some experience working in data stage. But even if you do not have any working experience in data stage, it's not a hard and fast rule. You can still go and appear for the data stage certification exam. The only thing is that if you want to clear the exam and pass in the exam, then you should be knowing what is recommended, which is you should have some database knowledge, you should have some data stage proficiency, so you should have some knowledge if you want to clear the exam. But even if you do not have and decide to take the exam, nobody is going to stop you. You can just go and take the exam and probably not clear the exam. So there are no hard and fast prerequisites. There are no pre-mandatory prerequisite skills for these for this examination. They only recommend that you should be knowing, you should be having some data sage, database, some Unix info, uh, knowledge, all that kind of knowledge that is necessary for your work as a data sage developer or administrator. Now to get the certification. You just need to take one examination. So it does not consist of multiple examinations. You just need to appear once for one examination and the examination is called uh, the Infosphere Data Stage version 11.3 and there's some code associated with it which you can see over here. So it's only just one examination unlike some of the other softwares, ETL softwares or other softwares in general which uh, require you to take multiple levels of tests so, this example, they have foundation, then advanced and intermediate and so on. Data stage, on the other hand, is only a single exam. So, you just need to take one exam that is that covers all the levels. There are no separate certification exams for different levels. And another thing that you should know is that this exam, this certification does not expire. So some of the other certifications uh, for some other softwares are like they would be valid for three years or four years or so on and then you need to do something to renew them or appear for the uh, certifications again. This certification is a lifetime certification, does not expire. The only thing that you can see is that it's, uh, it's related to the version of data stage which is currently rolled out in the market. So uh, like five years from now, if there is some more advanced version and this version becomes obsolete, then obviously you should uh, yourself decide to appear for the newer version of the exam. But this examination and this certification if you once you get the certification it is valid for lifetime so once you click on the examination details link you would be um, forwarded to this link actually which has more exam more details about the examination itself or the test itself so you can see that there are two sections over here objectives and exam preparation under the objectives you can see 
what would be the structure of the exam so the total number of questions that you would be getting in the exams are 64 and the number of questions to pass the examination are 41 so you should minimum uh, at the least be answering at least 41 questions correctly out of the 64 questions to pass in the exam or to clear the exam the time that you would be allowed is 90 minutes Okay, so within those 90 minutes you have to finish all these questions or you have to answer these questions now i can tell you some more details uh, these are all going to be multiple choice questions so you will be given four options or five options and you have to select the right option so these are objective multiple choice questions and uh, there might be questions in which there might be more than one correct answers. So you might, they, it would be specified at the top that correct two answers. So it would be mentioned clearly if there are more than one correct answers. So you do not need to worry about that. And there is no negative marking. So even if you do not know the answer of a question, then make a, make a wise and educated guess uh, as good as you can and you make sure that you answer all the questions so you maximize your chances and make, you can maximize your score in the examination now the most important part the curriculum so they have they have divided uh, it into 11 sections as you can see here and they have mentioned what would be the weightage of each section so you can see over here there is configuration metadata persistent storage and then you have the parallel architecture, databases, data transformation, then job components and job design. So, and monitor and troubleshoot, job management and deployment, job control and runtime management. So, there are 11 sections and they've mentioned the weightage across the section. You can see this is 8%, 8%, this is 9%. Now, this one is a big one the job design which is 14 percent right and then you have the data transformation that has a transformer stage so 12 percent this is the biggest one 15 percent which is persistent storage so all kinds of file stages including the complex flat file stage your ftp stages your xml stages you know now your hadoop stages and so on Right. So you can see that there are varying weightages for each section depending on how many questions would be asked in your examination. Now if you want to prepare for these sections and what uh, actually is the content within these sections then they have given in details that what are the important things that they would be looking for in the questions that would be asked in your test certification exam. So you can go through all these details over here. So you'll get an idea about what is the curriculum for the exam. So this is all the curriculum for the exam. Now once you know the curriculum of the exam, the next step is to know how to prepare for the exam. So to prepare for the exam, they have uh, made a separate section over here. So you can just click on the exam preparation. And now they have a very good um, option over here that says that the exam has an assessment exam option and then there's some name for that exam which is in first way data situation 11.4 and this is the code for that exam now this assessment exam is like a test exam so it's, it would not be uh, awarding you the certification if you pass in that exam this is just a sample exam uh, or a test exam that you can take to assess your chances of clearing the actual exam so it would have some questions which are similar to the one which would be given in the actual certification test but this is not the certification test so you have that option but um the thing over here is that it is a paid exam so you will have to pay something to be able to appear for this exam this is not free but this is at a cheaper cost as they have mentioned here so you would get it for a cheaper cost than the actual test so if you want to um, 
realistically know your chances of clearing the main exam you can appear for this exam as well and you can register at this site at which you will have to appear for the main exam itself which is the Pearson view site and you will get the full once you appear for this exam uh, whatever is your performance in this exam you will be give it, getting a full report which uh, with the score in each of the sections so you would know in which section you performed well in which sections you need to improve and so on so you'll get a full assessment report so this is one step for you can take before you want to appear for the real exam but the catch here obviously is that it is a paid exam so you will have to pay something to appear for this exam so it's not a free exam that you can take then they have the these are the IBM courses they've mentioned some courses that you can take uh, to be able to uh, successfully pass in this exam and these are the various courses that they have mentioned you can get all the details over here these are two days courses uh, advanced data processing what are the details here here they have mentioned xml stages scd stages uh, unstructured data and so on and these are your these are your classroom courses so that was not a classroom course probably and this is uh, advanced data stage parallel framework so you get this is a 24 hour course then you have data stage essentials which is version 11.5 this is also a 32 hours course so you can take these are classroom exams which means they are instructor based classroom courses you can take then you can also have a virtual classroom so these are self paced so you these are called SPVC parallel framework and essentials you can take these these are all paid courses these are all going to be paid courses these are not free courses so if you decide to uh, take any of these courses these are going to be paid courses these are pretty good courses but the only catch point as i mentioned earlier with all these is that these are all paid courses and they are pretty expensive but then you have this web resource over here which is a pretty good resource so if you click on this this IBM knowledge center it would redirect you to this site and this is pretty good if you want to learn data stage this has pretty good tutorials then you have this IBM link as well they actually have tutorials creating parallel jobs creating parallel jobs for cleansing data so you can see over here on the left hand side what all is included over here so you have uh, this is a getting started so if you are new to data stage you can start with this tutorial otherwise you can select the topic that you want to see so transforming data right they are pretty well structured they have learning objective time required they have pretty good lessons and the good thing with these tutorials is that they have the data sets included they sometimes also have the data stage job dsx included so you can just use that code and you can play around with that code and learn so this is a pretty good uh, knowledge base this is also useful otherwise uh, other than the certification so if you are stuck somewhere if you want to learn more about some of the stage then this is the official IBM documentation software documentation from the company itself so this is pretty good this is a pretty good tutorial site so let me now share some tips about this exam so this exam is a single exam as I mentioned earlier and therefore it covers the whole spectrum of data stage knowledge. So be it from a developer perspective, be it from an administrator perspective, be it from beginner data stage developer perspective or be it from an advanced data stage professional perspective. So the kind of questions that you should be expecting in the exam might be the ones which you are not familiar with in your day to day data stage activities so you might not have got the chance or opportunity to work on those kind of tasks or you might not be aware of those features of data stage so there is some dedicated study effort that needs to be put in before you decide to take this examination so you would need to study about the topics that you're not familiar with so what are the topics that you're not familiar with you can identify 
going through the curriculum so there would be things there might be things like the job score you might not be familiar with in terms of how to debug using your job scores you might not be familiar with some of the environment variables what might be the use of them how to configure some data sets database stages what are the properties that are available in data stage to do that so those are the kind of things that are not uh, day to day work that we do in data stage and they might be in your team they might be assigned to some specific person having some specific role so you have to put in some dedicated study effort for sure one way to get knowledge about this is you can go to the topics identify the topics that you're not familiar with or need more information upon just google them go to the official ibm documentation and search for advanced data stage topics give yourself some time to read through all those topics uh understand all those topics prepare all those topics get familiar with all those topics and only then decide to take this exam because it's not an easy exam as such you need to have a pretty good grasp of the data sage concepts and the working of data sage in itself i'll also put a link to the session that i did on preparation for data sage certification so that discusses some of the sample questions and again the same thing it discusses the content and or the curriculum of the certification exam i'll just put the link um, over there and i'll also try to put in future some concise sample questions or concise video with only the sample questions so that's easier for you to browse but this is all about the certification that i I wanted to discuss today and um, this is all you should know so study well for the certification exam and then take the certification exam and it's a pretty good certification exam on your resume if you are a data stage professional then you sh must be having some certification on your resume that makes your resume stand out and that would always always help in your job growth so this is a pretty good thing to do and Please study for the exam well and then all the best for this examination for all those who wish to give this examination in the future. Thanks a lot for watching this video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such videos. I'll talk to you all in the next video. Thanks, have a good day and goodbye.